Hello, I'm Ashton. And I'm John. What's up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... You got this? To Zar Bama Detonation <laughs> by the channel Zar Bama. The link is down below in the descripto, so go check it out. I feel like this video is important to support the channels you love, just like you can help support us, just like T did. T, thank you so much for the support. We appreciate it. You guys can also... Click on that link down below in the description and throw it down through Streamlabs. Gonna let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under ten. Include the video's link title, your email. Follow me on social media and let's get to the video. Let's see how big this explosion is. It was on this frozen desert island, in the most dangerous period of the Cold War, that the ultimate explosion took place. Novaya Zemla, in the Arctic Barents Sea, is where the Russians demonstrated their nuclear might. Let's see. Testing bombs of ever increasing power. Damn. Dude, that is insane. Look at that wave it sends out. On October 30th, 1961. They Jesus. push the limits of explosive power further than they'd ever gone, or will probably ever go again. This bomb was codenamed the Tsar. It contained the equivalent of 58 million tons of TNT, or all the explosives used in World War II, multiplied by 10. Jesus. The Tsar, the biggest bomb, the most powerful device mankind has ever constructed, was to be their masterpiece. And a political showpiece, too. Six camera crews were assigned to film this unique moment in history. The air crew were hand-picked. They'd been warned their safety couldn't be guaranteed. Right. That's insane. They could avoid being blinded by the light. But being knocked out of the sky was quite possible. I can't believe they signed up for this. Right. The exact moment of release I think they were just put the bomb on the, the ground and put like a remote detonator on it somehow, but... The bomb had been given a parachute to slow its descent and give the crew more time to escape. Right. I wonder what happened. Right. Let's see it. Because that goes pretty far. They did like... escape, but only escape. just. The plume yeah, rose right through the cloud far. layer and kept on rising. It flattened out when the cloud was 40 miles high. The blast wave was still large enough to be measured on its third passage around the world. What? Because the bomb was detonated two miles above the ground, there was very little radioactive fallout. But the earth directly below the burst was seared by the intense heat. Rock had been turned to ash. The bomb was four times bigger than anything America has ever exploded. Why something so large? The United States could develop very accurate missiles. The Soviets never mastered that technique very well. And to compensate for that, they really could level a very large area and take out their intended target without having to actually hit the target itself. But why did the quest for ever bigger bombs suddenly cease? It figured out that it's terrible to do that. power increased. Political leaders worried more and more that they were really playing with fire. Right. In 1963, the superpowers banned bomb tests in the atmosphere, underwater, and in outer space. I think that the Soviet detonation will probably be the biggest ever man-made detonation in the future as well. No. So the soldiers and scientists have Got packed up and thrown away. Us. This island's days as a bomb site are history. Dang, that's actually interesting. That I is. like stuff like that. Dude, that bomb was huge and it was filtered around the world. It was measured around the world three times. So the wave just kept going one, two, three. That is insane. Right. Holy shit. And yeah, it's a good thing they did quit testing bombs. Like, think about all the fallout from that. Even if it's not that much or they did it above ground so it wasn't that bad. There's still got to be repercussions. Somebody was born with two heads because of that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Something happened, I mean, for sure. you're not wrong. 
Someone went hiking there, and something terrible happened. Who knows, honestly. That's insane, though. All right, guys, go check out the channel that is Tassar Bama. If you like that video and you want to see other explosions, explosions are very interesting. I want to see more. Right, same. Could you imagine, with today's technology, how big that explosion would be? I don't want to know. If this was way back then, it would be insanely bigger now, if they're allowed to do it still. Guys. I remember that video. Which video? The one where they measured the Bomb King, and like they did all the math to it? No, the video with the little girl. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> yes. Uh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you liked it, and peace out. See ya.